Hi friends, I am Dr. B. V. Rao of Pushra Clinic and founder of the websites qmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for uh, reference to medicals. Today, I am going to discuss about the proctitis. Proctitis is the inflammation limited to the rectal mucosa. Sometimes it is associated with a similar condition in the colon called proctocolitis. The inflammation may be acute or chronic. There are several types depending upon the cause like uh, proctocolitis, non-specific uh, proctitis, specific proctitis, ulcerative proctitis, bacillary dysentery, amoebic dysentery, tuberculous proctitis, gonococcal proctitis, lymphogranuloma inguinal, primary syphilis, strawberry lesions of uh, rectosigmoid, rectal bilharziosis and proctitis due to herbal enemates. The symptoms are uh, tennis, tennismus, passage of blood and mucus, and in severe cases, pus is also passed. There may be frequent and uh, intense desire for defecation. The amount of feces passed is small. Acute proctitis is associated with the malaise and fever. On rectal examination, the mucosa is swollen and very tender. Sigmoidoscopy is more valuable method of evaluation than proctoscopy alone. Skilled pathological uh, assistance is required to establish or exclude the diagnosis of specific infections uh, by bacteriological examination and culture of stools. Examination of uh, scrapings or uh, swabs from ulcers and uh, serological tests. When early carcinoma ca can't be excluded, biopsy may be necessary. Non-specific proctitis. It is an inflammatory condition affecting the mucosa and uh, sometimes uh, submucosa confined to the terminal rectum and anal canal. It is a common variety. It is a mild form of uh, ulcerative colitis. Clinical features. It is common in middle-aged people. Complaints of a uh, slight loss of blood in motion. There is one normal passage of stools accompanied by some blood. During the day, the patient attempts to defecate with the passage of platus and a little blood-stained uh, fecal matter, said as uh, diarrhea. On rectal examination, the mucosa feels warm and uh, smooth. Often there is blood on the examining finger. Proctoscopic and uh, sigmoidoscopic examination shows inflamed mucous membrane of the rectum without uh, ulceration. The inflammation extends uh, only from 5 or 6 inches from the anus. The mucosa above this level is normal. Treatment. Of course, it is a self-limiting disease. Much relief may be organized by salgopyrin, acetorsol, suppositories or uh, prednisolone retention enema. Milk should be excluded from the diet motion, motions kept soft by using isogel. Ulcerative pro proctocolitis. Proctitis is uh, present in many of the cases of ulcerative colitis. The degree of severity of the rectal involvement uh, may influence the type of operative procedure. Proctitis uh, due to specific infections. Bacillary dysentery. The examination of a swab taken from the ulcer uh, ulcerated mucous membrane is uh, diagnostic than the microscopic examination of stools. The appearance is uh, that of an acute purulent proctitis with uh, multiple small shallow ulcers. Proctological examination is uh, painful, so agglutination tests may render it necessary. Amoebic dysentery. The in infection is usually chronic and uh, exacerbation after a long period of freedom from symptoms occurs. 
proctoscopy and uh, sigmoidoscopy are not painful. Scrapings from the ulcer should be uh, immersed in warm normal saline solution and uh, sent to the laboratory for immediate microscopic examination. Amoebic granuloma. It uh, presents as a soft mass in the rectosigmoid region. This lesion is usually mistaken for the carcinoma. Sigmoidoscopy shows an ulcerated surface but the mass is less friable than carcinoma. A scrapping is taken from with a small sharp spoon on a long handle and the material sent for immediate microscopical examination. If doubt exists, a provocative dose of uh, emitin uh, may, may cause uh, seeds of the amoeba to appear in the stools. A biopsy is also required. Amoebic granuloma of the rectum is uh, from time to time to time encountered in a patient who has uh, never visited a country where the disease is endemic. Persons living in old people's institutions are uh, liable to harbor this uh, deceptive lesion. Tuberculous proctitis. It is always uh, associated with the active pulmonary tuberculosis and is open, often complicated with the tuberculous fistula in anus or the tuberculous ulceration of the anus. It is in this case, a submucous rectal abscess burst and leave ulcers with an undermined edge. A hypertrophic uh, type of uh, tuberculous uh, proctitis occurs in uh, association with uh, tuberculous peritonitis or uh, tuberculous salpingitis. This type of proctitis requires biopsy for uh, confirmation of the diagnosis. Gonococcal proctitis. It occurs in both sexes due to the rectal coitus and in females direct spread from the vulva. In acute stage, the mucous membrane is uh, hyperemic and thick pus can be expressed as the proctoscope is withdrawn. In the early stages, the diagnosis is uh, readily established by bacteriological examination, but later when the infection is mixed, it is uh, difficult to recognize treatment. Specific treatment is effective. Lymphogranuloma inguinal. The infection is similar to that of uh, gonorrheal proctitis. In female, spreading of infection from cervix uteri via lymphatics to the paracentral lymph nodes is common. The diagnosis of lymph lymphogranuloma inguinal should be strongly suspected when the inguinal lymph nodes are uh, greatly enlarged. Although the enlargement may be subside, uh, subsiding by the time the proctitis uh, commences. Price intradermal test. Price intradermal test is uh, positive in majority of cases. The complement fixation test is even uh, more accurate. Primary syphilis. A primary chancre may occur inside the anus. It presents a moist, painless, indurated ulcer of uh, recent ulcer. The serious, <coughs> the serious discharge contains uh, spirochetes. With a glass pipette, a few drops of serous discharge is uh, aspirated and uh, placed on a slide and examined by dark ground illumination for confirmation. Strawberry lesion of a rectosigmoid. It is uh, due to infection by Spirocheta vincenti and uh, bacillus. Bacillus uh, fusiformis. Symptoms. Diarrhea, scanty and, uh, and uh, blood stained, diagnosed by the demonstration of uh, special organisms in the stool. Mostly sigmoidoscopy is uh, required. The characterized lesion is a thick raised mucosa with superficial ulceration in the region of the 
uh, rectosigmoid. The inflamed mucous membrane oozes blood at uh, numerous pinpoint points look like overripe strawberry. A swab is uh, taken from the discharge and examined for the Vincent's and fusiform organisms. Swabs from the gum and throat is also advisable. Treatment Isitorsal suppositories tothered with uh, vitamin C gives good results. Rectal bilharziosis It is uh, caused by the Schistosoma mansoni which is endemic in many tropical and subtropical countries and uh, particularly in uh, the delta of Nile. Stage 1. A cutaneous lesion develops at the site of entrance of the cycaria. Stage 2. Characterized by pyrexia, urticaria and high eosinophilia. Stage 3. It is uh, due to the deposit of vova in the rectum and uh, maintained by bilharzial dysentery. In late stages, examination shows uh, papillomas are frequently present. The papilloma, which are uh, sessile or pedunculated, contains the ova of the trematode, the life cycle of which resembles that of uh, Schistosoma hematobium. Untreated, the rectum becomes a uh, and uh, prolapse of the diseased mucous membrane is usual. Multiple fistulae in anno may develop. General treatment of bilharziosis. Potassium antimony tartrate, tartar emetic. It is given intravenously on alternative days. 30 mg first injection and uh, increasing by 15 mg till a dose of 130 mg has been reached. The total dose being uh, 1360 mg. For this treatment, the patient must be in good general health with the hemoglobin not below 60%. Forwarding stibo, stibofenor report drop. Alternatively, these are Antimony preparations may be used. Given intravenously, a robust adult receives a daily injection of 5 ml per for 10 days. In long standing uh, cases, the dose is uh, reduced by half and given on alternative days. These preparations uh, deteriorate and uh, should not be used after 6 months from the date of manufacture. Miracidil D or uh, Nilodin. It is given orally 200 mg tablets serious for 20 days. These are safer than antimony local treatment. When the papillomas persist in spite of general treatment, they must be treated by the way of treatment of any other papilloma. Excision by diathermy is done. Proctitis uh, due to herbal enemates. It is uh, common in tropical Africa following uh, an enema consisting of a con concoction of uh, ginger, pepper and uh, tree bark administered by a witch doctor. A most virulent uh, proctitis sets in pelvic uh, peritonitis uh, superbins. A complete uh, gelatinous cast of the mucous membrane of the rectum is extruded. Very large dose of morphine together with the streptomycin often prevent a fatal issue if commenced early. Temporary colostomy is often advisable. Treatment Severe proctitis. Uh, necessitates a confinement to bed. Once the cause is uh, elucidated, specific treatment is given. The stool should be kept soft with isozer. Local installation of 5 ounces of olive oil or soothing. Suppositories of succinyl sulfathiazole are often uh, beneficial. 
the specific treatments for specific diseases are carried out according to the disease. That's all about the proctitis and the types. And in the next video, I will discuss about some other diseases. Thank you.